Hello guys. In this video, I'm going to show you an example of a transient structure analysis. As you can see, the web theme already opened on my desktop. The version I'm using is uh, 1.9. And uh, before we start a new project, let's double check the unit. It is metric uh, kilogram to meter. Okay, let's start a new project. And in the project property, we change the analysis type to the transient. The other, uh, the other property kept uh, default. Then we create a new geometry, change the size to be 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and 1. Okay, and zoom it. This is the geometry we create. We also can import a, a geometry, but uh, for this demo, which is uh, I'll use this simple geometry to show how to do the transient analysis. Okay, for the mesh, let's change it to the maximum size of the element to be 0 0.03, and we use high order element. Okay, so in the study setting, uh, in this case, we try the two steps. The first step, we set end time to be 0 0.01 second. The second step we set the uh, end time to be 0 0.05 second. Okay, then we use the step time step 0 0.001. Okay, then let's impose the boundary condition. We add one constraint and uh, impose to one end of this bar, then we impose the force on another end. Okay, the x direction was set at zero, z direction set zero two. For the y direction, is set to be three thousand on the y direction. Okay, that's it. And then we'll define all these conditions. Let's just solve. Uh, in this setting, uh, we set time step 0 0.001 and the end time of the second step is 0 0.05 second. So, totally we're going to calculate 50 times. Okay, it's done. So, solving totally takes like 22 seconds. Let's add. Uh, one deformation, one stress result. Double click, then we can evaluate this result. And we change the, we want to see the last step. It's uh, set number 50. Okay, evaluate it. Okay, and let's look at the deformation. We want to see the deformation on the y direction. So it's 50. Evaluate it. Okay, that's the deformation. So um, this is uh, the quantum will only show the current step, and uh, in the table and the chart we can see the deformation and stress through the time. So we can see this oscillation uh, through the time. It's kind of um, free vibration with uh, external load. Okay, this uh, is about uh, how to do. The transient analysis in Wesley. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please let us know. Bye.